At least one person has been killed and more than 5,000 people evacuated from their homes in northern Gaza after four days of torrential rain has caused severe flooding in what the United Nations is calling a disaster area. The flooding has been so severe that thousands of flood-damaged homes could only be accessed by rowing boats, with water more than two metres deep in some places, with Gaza's 1.8 million people enduring daily blackouts, lasting up to 12 hours since the territory's only power plant was switched off due to a fuel shortage. Uh, we witnessed a real humanitarian disaster which affected all sides, a lack of a few lack of electricity. We called the international humanity and um, a community to pressure the Israeli occupation to, uh, to open the borders and to let the fuel to allow the necessaries to enter Gaza. This is a political problem, not only a humanity problem, and this is a real collective punishment on all the Palestinian people. Both Israel and Egypt have previously restricted access to Gaza since Islamic militant group Hamas began governing it in 2007. The Gaza Health Ministry said 100 other people had been hurt as floodwaters damaged poorly built homes. Thousands of agency workers are still working to evacuate still-stranded Palestinians to UN shelters.